Hi, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to create a quick interactive office plan using the background images function in Tableau. For this purpose, I'm using Tableau version 2019.1. To create this visualization, we will need the office maps images, a table with coordinates for each floor, which we are going to create based on the office maps, and a table containing employee data assigned to each floor. All right, let's get to it. First, in order to map each data point to a specific part of the office map, we are going to create a set of X and Y coordinates using a drawing tool. So let's go to drawingtools.powertoolsfortableau.com. Next, we upload the floor images using the drag and drop function or the upload button. After the image has loaded in the screen, we need to check that the drawing option is set to point. If we hover our mouse over the map image, we will see the coordinates that each point is generating in the bar at the left. Under the point data option, select table. Now let's start defining our points. The first point I'm going to add will be just for reference and we will delete it once we create the table. This point is for me to grab the highest Y and X coordinate. We will use this reference later. Now we click each of the assigned desk where we want to map our employees. That'll create a specific coordinates for each point and we'll add them to the table. Once we're done with the mapping of the lobby, let's copy the table and paste it in, into an Excel file. There, we will move the references aside and create two columns. The first one will be the key to our desk data, which is the code assigned to each desk. In my case, we have coded each desk with L1 to L8. Next, the other column will contain the floor name, in this case, lobby. We repeat the very same process for the first floor. Once we have mapped all the points we need, the table should look like this. We are now ready to create our Tableau visual. Let's open a new Tableau workbook and connect to the Excel file where the coordinates and desk data is. We drag and drop both tables and they will be joined by the desk ID. With the data loaded, we drop the measure X into columns and Y into rows. Then we go to analysis menu and remove the aggregate measures option. Awesome. Now let's add the floor maps. Go to Maps tab and select Background Image. In the Background Image menu, click on Add Image, click on Browse and search for the first one, which is the lobby. Select the X field as X and Y as Y. That one's easy. Now in the right section of X, input our image boundaries that we got before. For X is 1,769 and for Y in the bottom section, input 1,369. Go to Options, select Always Show Entire Image, and in the Only Show When, select Add. In the Select field, we're going to choose Floor, and then Lobby as Value. This will tell Tableau which image to show when we select a floor number. Let's click OK and then add the second image. We repeat the same process as with the lobby, only this time when we choose the value for floor, we're going to select floor 1. In order for this to work, let's drag floor into details and add and show a filter with the floor, so we can choose which floor to see. And there you go. We can now select a floor and see the points correctly assigned to each position in the map. Let's start by adding a few details from our data. We will change marks to shapes and drag the gender dimension to it. We will select a different shape for each. Also drag it to the color card. And we will increase the size a little bit. Now let's fix the tooltip, drag the employee ID, name, 
last name and job title and edit our tooltip. Remove all the information we don't want to show and that's it. Now it's just a matter of adding other levels of details and formatting the way we want it. As example, you can add your employee's picture so you can have a different way of looking at your data. You can add more filters to be able to search for specific employees or search by job title. All this is up to you and the way you want the user to interact with this data. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your data. This is PowerGI.